Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see the Windows 11 Pro new features. So now I am using the Windows 11 Pro build version 22.557. So I am using a developer version. In, and in case if you are a normal user means you will get these updates in the upcoming days. Now let's move on to the top 5 plus Windows 11 Pro new features which are really cool. So first of all, let's see the new feature. This feature is called so group multiple apps into folders in the start menu. So this feature is nothing but whenever you are clicking the start menu, so here is some of the pinned apps will be shown here. Now in the pinned apps section, you can able to group multiple application into a single folder. So it is really helpful for you to categorize. For example, these three application uh, are uh, relevant to the same category so now i am going to merge three application into a single folder so it is quite easy so first of all you have to press and hold any of the application and just place that application to the another application and once you have done that now it is shown as a separate folder so in that folder two application will be shown like that you can add multiple application as per your wish so and also in case if you don't want means so just drag any one of the folder and put it into the outside of the folder so like this you can able to categorize so multiple application into folders in, in the start menu pinned section so it is one of the really cool feature now the next feature is that do not disturb mode for notification and the focus mode so generally in the previous version whenever you are clicking on this control box here you can able to manage the focus mode but now on clicking on this notification panel here is the option called uh, some of the timer has been given and here is the focus uh, mode option so you can directly uh, easily go to the focus mode by just setting up the timing so whatever the time you need just set up that and click on the focus and that's it you are goes to the focus mode and all the notification has been disabled and the notification is also goes to the do not disturb mode so now you can also able to manage the focus mode here so totally 15 minutes of focus mode so easily you can able to go to the focus mode instantly and you can also end the session of focusing time anytime by clicking on the end session and also there is a separate notification panel and in case if you want to uh, stop the notifications for the certain time means you can just click on this do not disturb mode once you click on that the do not disturb mode has been turned on and after that the notification will actually receive in the notification panel but you will not get notified and also there is a notification settings here and here you can able to uh, turn on the not do not disturb mode automatically like you can able to schedule that so here is the option do not disturb mode automatically and after that click on this option during these times and after that you can uh, schedule the time as per your wish for turning on and turning off the time and you can repeat that for daily or weekends or weekdays like that so this is one of the great feature for uh, turning on turn off the do not disturb mode and also here is a focus uh, mode uh, redistraction so some of the focus related uh, option has been given here so this feature is also another cool feature from the windows 11 pro new version and the next feature is a new feature which is enabled in the quick access folder section so whenever you are going to the file explorer there is a new there is a folder section called quick access section so in the previous version you can able to use the option called whenever you are right clicking any of the folder so you can able to use the option called pin to quick access but this option is only limited for the folders only but now in the new windows 11 pro version you can able to use the same support option for the files also any type of files this is the image file format so whenever you are right clicking so here is an option called pin to quick access so once you click on that and after that whenever you are going to the quick access folder section so here is a separate section called pinned files so in the pinned file section that files has been available and also in the folder section in case if you are uh, pinned any of the folders means that file that folders has been available in the quick access section and there is also one more thing is that in the recent file section so now uh, in case if you are logged in your windows 11 operating system with the microsoft account means and if you are using onedrive microsoft excel powerpoint like that means and if you are using that any of that onedrive files also means so that files also has been included in the recent file section so now the recent file section will actually optimize both the hard drive storage and then the Microsoft OneDrive storage also. So in any of the drive you have recently accessed to any files means. So that files will be shown in the recent file section. So that is a new update. 
Now the next new feature is that snap access as a new layout and new animation. So whenever you are uh, having any windows, so while just uh, dragging uh, to the top of the section. So here is a th four different type of layouts and hovering that window to any of the layout, you will get a different animation. So based on the layout, the particular window has been optimized as per that. So like this, you can now able to use the snap layout feature. So this is one of the great features. Just uh, drag to the top and you'll get the all different four layout and after uh, dragging hovering the window to each layout you will get you will get a different type of animation and you can uh, feel that while you are using so this is a new feature from the windows learn pro so how do you guys like this feature let me know in the comment section below the next new feature is that the task manager has been updated to the new look so whenever you are opening the task manager application you will get the new application so you will get the new view of the application the application ui has been completely changed and also the new application has comes with a new feature so that is called uh, say efficiency mode so in case if you feel any one of the application is actually using more resources like that means so just click on that particular application or process and after that right click on that and there you'll see a option called efficiency mode just click on that so once you actually turn on the efficiency mode it will actually uh, lower the power consumption and at the same time it will optimize the performance as well but at the same time once you have actually turned on the efficiency mode there will be a certain lag in the stability so and in case if you are facing any stability issue means you can again turn off the efficiency mode by just clicking and click on the efficiency mode and at the same time whenever you are turning on the efficiency mode so in that particular process the efficiency mode uh, that name has been labeled in that particular process so this is a new feature from the task manager and also the task manager ui is also so changed so presently that application will be updated in the staked manner so recently i also got that update i'll got the new ui but and after the new update the i'll switch over to the older version itself this is not the task manager new ui so it is a older version only but in the new ui is actually looks like this only so you'll get the ui like this in the task manager so, so overall the task manager is also looks good and, and it is also comes with a new feature in the new windows 11 profession now the next new feature we are going to see is the drag and drop feature in the windows 11 taskbar so it is a quite interesting feature well i'll just show you some of the examples so in the particular in the google chrome browser i have just uh, typing one of the mail and at the same time i want to attach some of the files means so in the file explorer so i am just uh, going to some of the files and i am just dragging that any of the files and going and just drop in the particular chrome browser and here i can able to drop that files so he, like this you can able to drag and drop the files for, from the taskbar itself and in case if you are using multiple file explorer means you can uh, drag and drop the files in the uh, taskbar itself so i am just dragging these files and going to the taskbar and i am dropping these files in the another file explorer so like this you can easily uh, drag and drop the files between uh, two windows right from the taskbar itself so this is also one more cool feature from the windows 11 pro new version and in the file explorer also there is a one more feature that is called the folder preview so whenever you are going to any of the folder you will get a preview of the files in the folders so it will be shown for example so it will be shown for you whenever you are changing the viewing method so just click on the view and change the icons to medium and once you change that now you will get the folder preview so like this so in the folder section you you will get the preview of the files inside that folder so this is also a new feature in the windows 11 pro new version well now these are all the new features in the windows 11 pro build 22557 so this is the developer version and in case if you are a stable users means so that is not an issue in the upcoming days this update will be rolled out to you and in case if you want to enroll to the developer version means so that is easy you can easily join the windows insider program so i have already posted a video on how to join windows insider program and through this method you can easily get the developer version so in case if you want to know about that means you can watch that video in the description and i got so 
I have given the link. Now what your favorite features among this top 5 plus in the new Windows Lawn Pro version let me know in the comment section below and that's all about this video guys and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and if you guys like to watch my upcoming videos hit the subscribe button below and thanks for watching this video guys.